Um, hey, Zach. Um, yeah, your caricature is really making some good progress here. I really like how you cleaned up some of the areas to make it, um, you know, more readable and so on. Um, as far as the background, I like the idea of having the Legos, but there's a, a few issues. Um, you don't want to get something with this watermark because um, you do want to use this for your portfolio, and it's it's really pretty inappropriate to use something with a watermark, and it's in this big thing here too. And and people in design really have an eye for detail, and they'll they'll like suce all of that out really quick. So I would suggest um, you know you could look for other. Back, I mean, the other problem is too is the angle of view. So we're looking at this from the side, or you know, from the front, and the angle of view for the Legos is like from the ceiling looking down. So it, there's a bit of a disconnect with that. Um, you could go. I'm just looking at these. Um, you know, Google image search for Legos. Um, you know, something. Let's see. I'm gonna go up here. Um, see, these are all the ones that are just that kind of like. Um, top down, you know, looking at, um, from the ceiling, looking down. So what you want is something more like this. Um, you know, you want something that has, that's, you know, from the same angle of view as your caricature or close to it. So there's a lot of other images too that, um, you know, let's see here, you can just scroll through all this. I mean, this is just black, but, um, again, you know, even, well, no, that's not appropriate either. So, um, you know, I mean, I like the idea. I would just really, you know, something like this that has that angle of view. But again, this is watermark, so you don't want to use that. So anyway, um, and if you search for something in Google image search like, um, I think I, this was for Lego background, then you'll get some bigger sizes because you don't want to use a little one because you want to be able to print this out ideally. So even this one's, this one here is 1600 pixels. That's pretty, that's not too bad. So if you search for anything like Lego wallpaper or Lego background, you're, you're going to come out. Even something like this, you know, is it would would be better. Um, so again, I would just just you know look around. This is that's too small, 400 um, um, pixels. You need something that's really big because of the um, um, you know it's such a it, the background's pretty big. Um, you could also take a picture yourself if you wanted to. Um, the other issue though is that. Um, it's so loud and colorful, it's really taking away from the um, caricature. So you can deal with it in some ways, like um, you can do things like levels, um, you know, you could bring down the color because it's so, um, I mean, that's making it lighter, but you can make it darker and that's going to allow you know, to stand out a little bit more. But again, it's just too, you know, it's just too colorful. I would actually, I would, I'm just going to turn this off. Um, but you could also desaturate the color and that will also help. So you just have to look under um, hue and saturation. And then, you know, when this panel comes up, you can just, um, you know, reduce the saturation on it. And you can see how it's getting, you know, it'll go all the way to black and white. Um, but again, I wouldn't, you don't have to do too much of it, but again, it's still, you know, and that's darker. So even something like that allows the caricature to stand out a lot more. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's kind of dingy, but again, just, you know, you can just play with it. You can look at all the different ways to adjust this. It's just, you know, it's a good way to learn how to use, um, you know, use these um, tools. So um, the next thing, though, is um, the this is really hard to see. This needs to really stand out like, you know, something like that. So I would probably, you know, that's not really part of what the client wants. This toy land, it's, you know, it's added without kind of request. So I'm just going to turn this off for now. Um, and with this, I would just make it, um, again, if you were going to put it on dark, you'd make it light, you know, lighter. You could also just like it is here, here. I mean, um, you know, it's good contrast, dark um, text on a light image. Another thing you could do is, um, you know, you can put a box around it that's a lighter color, or, you know, if it's dark, you can make it light. But so I would suggest, um, you know, doing something. I'm going to turn this background off because um, it's just hard to really see the caricature. I'm going to put this white on. Another thing I would do is um, with the terrible toys text, I'm going to move it up here. I would put each 
word on a different layer so you could really manipulate it into the negative space. I am going to put all these in a folder as I do all the time just because I think also that it could be a little bit bigger so I'm just gonna do you know um, control um, T and make it a little bit bigger and again the shadow is not following because um, or the text because um, it's not in that layer but that's okay um, I would mm, that's a little bit big now but again this part of the the um, project is really about editing I would get a little bit bigger though than um, you know what you have now so something like this would be good and then you know you can move your shadow um, and attach it you could even rotate it a little bit you know again this is all about editing so you just want to play with all these settings um, something more like that but anyway because it, what it does is it gives it more of a sense of dynamic you know I know students want to center everything and make everything kind of flat head-on but it really it's not the best way to create interest and get people to look at it so even something like that and then you could fit the text up into the negative space someplace or I'd even move it over probably a little bit more even you could make it a little bit smaller I guess but anyway so that's you know that's my main comments I would also suggest um, doing um, the shadow that I put up here because this perspective cast shadow notice how it's got the gradient and that's really what you want because this is more realistic it's always darker closer to the um, the object that the shadows um, you know on so um, and what I would do too with um, the text is um, let's see where's my thing here I would go to defont and I would just look for some um, text that's really unique um, there's so many of them um, you know there's these distorted ones and again you know there's so many pages of these um, there's 31 pages and this is just that one little one you could do you know old school just you know just look around because there's there's so many cool ones um, decorative um, you know fire and ice um, anyway you know you don't want it too fancy but it is really good to to get something that's gonna um, you know kind of really complement but also be legible so that's that's really pretty important as well so let's see what other ones we have here um, sci-fi I mean so what you could do too is if you click on these you can see the whole you know the way the font looks with all the letters so and they're really super easy to install you just have to copy it into your fonts fonts folder but your caricature looks really cool I mean you know you could continue to you know um, where's that that arm's great. <laughs> it's really fun, actually. Um, you could, you know, continue to try to move stuff and just see if you can, um, you know, even pull more personality out. Um, move it up. And if you want this to be in front, too, you could make it a lot bigger if you wanted to. Um, you know, there's just so many options with Photoshop. Um, but again, this is a real you know way that um, you know designers approach that's too big now um, designers approach design it's constant editing um, that's the too big one I'm gonna go to the history here and go back to what I did here Three, there we go Oh no, that's that one. I'm gonna keep that one. Um, so okay, that's yeah, pretty much it. I don't usually do feedback for late work, but um, I wanted to give you some feedback because you have a really pretty cool, you know, piece, and there's pretty much a week and a half in terms of the more more of the edits. Um, you know, you might want to choose something that just, you know, and I don't I don't even think the Legos um, uh, really add to it. I think it makes it. It's just another element. I think you might want to think of something like maybe, you know, a, kit, a room or some kind of interior space where he's on the floor or something or on a stage or whatever. But um, so, you know, you might want to continue looking around. You can also kind of design your own stuff, too, and do it in Photoshop. Um, okay.